Christmas just ain't Christmas without the ones you love. And this is for the ones that I'm missing during Christmas. But Christmas is always a celebration for the ones you with. You feel me? God bless the dead, but we got living to do. So this is what we're going to do, 2021. It's January 3rd, 2021. This is my um, testimony for the Annapolis, for the 2021 session. I'm a whistleblower on the courts and the criminality in the courts. For training to Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, the Democratic Party, Stop and Frisk and Zero Tolerance. I was making a movie about the Democratic Party, no more, no less. I was kidnapped by the state. My property was stolen. This is the story. You feel me? In the meantime, in between time, these delegates, there's 52 of y'all that participated in this in the Democratic Party. Hassan Giordano, Ivan Bates, y'all know all about this. So 2020 session, when you see me, we're going to do it like social media for social change. When I see you, I'm going to put the camera in your face. I'm going to ask you 21 questions. Yeah, I'm going to ask you when you knew, what you knew, why you didn't act on the information that you had. You feel me? We're going to go to the NAACP. The ACLU, if you go to the Legal Defense Fund of the NAACP now, I got paperwork in there. Dan Hellebach put it in over three months ago, and you ain't answered none of that information yet. I've been doing this since 2006. We also got the Baltimore block that been policing the police since 2012. We also got court watch where we've been watching the courts since 2012. We got Kelly Davis's case. We got Tawanda Jones's case. So in the 2021 20, session, we want access to the grand jury under Senate Bill 370, under Senate Bill 374. Like I said, this is my hoodie. I ran against Governor Hogan in 2014, and this is what I wore when I ran against Governor Hogan. I wore my hood because I represent my hood. I wore my hoodie because I'm good in any hood I go. Now, y'all might take this as a joke, but at the end of the day, take me to court. Let's settle this where we started this in a court of law. We talking about Monopoly, because that's what y'all was playing. When we did this, I gave you the game Monopoly. It was about don't pass gold, don't collect your $200. It was about Governor O'Malley and the Democratic Party and the criminal enterprise in which they set up. Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, Judge Turnbull, Judge Pearson, Judge Holland, Judge Bell, Judge Janae, Judge Souter. And I'm going to call you out and prove the point. And you can go to Judge Mary Barbara the Court of Special Appeals in Annapolis today and get my whistleblower's application. You can also get it from Delegate Sheila Roof because Delegate Smith didn't want to do it. The Maryland Black Caucus didn't want to do it. The Maryland Black Caucus been shielding this since 2008. So now we're going to do ghost. Ghost from your past, ghost from your present, and ghost for your future. Ghost from 2000, what, 1986, 2007, 2011. 2020 and we're looking for christmas 2021 this next year my whole thing is about exposing the corruption in baltimore city and baltimore county democratic party the office of brandon scott nick mosby marilyn mosby the democratic party as a whole i'm going to destroy your democratic party corruption machine period and i'm gonna do it on film i'm looking to sell this to netflix i'm gonna make money off of this one man's garbage another man's gold you toss me away like garbage. Y'all locked me up three times for terrorist charges. I beat the cases. And I wore my hoodie to court. When I went to court, I wore my shorty hoodie. I represented myself. I fired my lawyer and defended myself. Bonga bing, bonga bang. We're going to do this thing. It's art and activism. I ain't brainy Smurf, but they call me Papa Smurf. I use toilets because toilets don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. And it's my constitutional right to pass the Constitution. And I pass the Constitution at 5 o'clock in the morning. That's Shorty's bootleg barbecue. So good, I'm illegal. That's also Shorty's underground ribs. To be the best, you have to beat the best. And you ain't beat me yet. It's time to tell the truth. All right? And that toilet is time to tell the truth. Did you use the toilet this morning? I know I did. I know Brainy did. I know he gonna. Eddie Griffith, did you use the toilet this morning? President Trump, did you use the toilet this morning? Did you use the toilet this morning, Jack? Well, that toilet represents the war on drugs. See, because if we go to jail, we got to share that toilet with inmates. Toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. 
So I used that toilet to give my message about the war on drugs. What? I'm going to get the rest of them done. It's about the war on drugs in your prison industry. N62528, State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. I was making a movie about y'all. Ain't no law against making a movie. Like I said, go to the NAACP. Get my paperwork. I'm going to give you Thurgood Marshall in 2021. We're going to go to the Supreme Court and the grand jury. We're going to use the Constitution for black people. I'm going to give you Frederick Douglass. I'm going to give you black history in the NAACP. Do your job or lose your job, because I did mine. It's making a movie. Can of whoop ass. GOP Carter, damn, I'm getting ready to whoop your ass. That can of whoop ass been in effect since 2014, and that book is evidence when I come down to Annapolis and Wednesday, President Obama, everything that Obama had, dog, I'm going to turn it over to you. Like I said, the prison industry. This so you can't sue me for defamation of character or libel estate. That's saying that I was making a movie and the movie releases. That's the Baltimore County Police Department. All right. That's the movie, the, the part of the saying I was doing a documentary about race and racism. That's Barbara Mikulski's office. I'm going to pull y'all's card, and President Trump going to help me do it. Like I say, I got a lot of gifts and toilets, and this is going to be about it. That's Scott Schellenberger. These are criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger, and you refused to press those charges. I was kidnapped by the state because I was making a documentary about you. I was making a documentary about your prison industry. 2-7-2011, Lochner. I was kidnapped. It's a new year. We getting ready to pop the cork on this shit. You feel me? We getting ready to pop the cork on this shit. I want all the videos, all the forged checks, everything that Scott Schellenberger had. I was making a movie. Scott Schellenberger used his office to steal that property. Scott Schellenberger used his office to protect the Democratic Party. We talking about the war on drugs. And Scott Schellenberger get a lot of money behind the war on drugs. We looking, we looking at your surety bonds because the war on drugs... Judges, you got your, your 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 retirement plans tied to that. The more people you got in the prison industry, the more money that you make. But that's not how it's supposed to be. That's slavery under the 13th Amendment. You understand? I went to jail in Illinois in 1986 to end the war on drugs in 62528. So I got a vested interest in this. I got a dog in the fight. Now we're going to play Monopoly because like on February the 6th, 2011, I put a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. And it was about playing Monopoly. We made a bet. It was, the bet was that Governor O'Malley couldn't stop me from making this movie. I made the movie and Governor O'Malley lost the bet. We're playing Monopoly and y'all need to pay it off. Do not pass gold. Go directly to jail. Scott Schellenberger need to go to jail. That's President Donald Trump. Everything that I got, President Trump got. He didn't have it for over a year. So 2020 session, we're getting ready to pull y'all's cards. If y'all can't beat my hand... You can't play. I got three piece, three cards. You got three. We're going to see who beat who. But we're getting ready to play this game. It's called 52 Pickup. Y'all got to pick up y'all's careers after this lie that y'all told. Because like I said, I'm getting ready to shit on you. Y'all voted for this shit, and that's the shit you get. This is my political soapbox. And we're talking about the 13th Amendment. We talking about the war on drugs. All right, plain and simple. That's shorty. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And you ain't beat me yet. Getting ready to pop bottles after I pop your collar.